On behalf of the Department of Museums, Archives, and Rare Books, I'm Dr. Katherine Lewis, the Executive Director, and my job today is to start the program and to begin to welcome you. So officially, for those of you who have never been to Kennesaw's campus before, welcome, and we certainly hope we see you again. For those who come periodically, uh, always nice to have you back. And for those who are here every day, uh, which is a number of us, thank you so much for spending the afternoon with us. Uh, this project, our newest exhibition for the Museum of History and Holocaust Education, uh, behind me, Remembering Ravensbrück, Remember, uh, Women in the Holocaust, has been a wonderfully collaborative project. And you're going to hear more about that from other speakers. Uh, but I simply want to say that it's involved students and faculty in history and in German studies, uh, colleagues from the Ravensbrück Memorial Site north of uh, Berlin in Germany, uh, and a number of staff members from the museum and department. It really does take a village to do these kinds of projects, and in particular, this has really been striking. So before we start, I'm going to ask all of the students to stand so you can see how many people were engaged in this. So German studies and, and public history students, just a quick round of applause. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you. Our department, uh, which uh, the Museum of History is within the larger department, we serve more than 100,000 people a year, more than any other program at Kennesaw State. And we are often the front door for the university. People often come to us first, many members of the public, the community, other universities, other museums, Girl Scouts, K through 12. So we take our public service and customer service very seriously. Uh, so uh, we work really closely with the community and feel very um, committed to that kind of engagement. We're funded by the university, but also in part by the Marcus Foundation uh, and a number of other grants throughout the department. We get, uh, just recently, our, our art museum got an NEA grant, and our archives and rare books room got um, an NEH grant. So we work really hard to leverage our resources as best we can. And our goal at the Museum of History and Holocaust Education is really to look at World War II and the Holocaust understand and promote education and dialogue about the past so we can understand its relevance today. And that's what we work so hard on. And we work with a lot of colleges and departments at Kennesaw. Uh, often history and philosophy is our go-to group, and I see some of our colleagues back there. Uh, but we also work with German studies and foreign language and communications really across the university. Uh, today, you're going to learn something about our German studies and public history program. They have curated this important exhibit, and we believe uh, it will be seen, if we look at our numbers, probably, it'll probably travel for the next 10 years and likely be seen by at least half a million people, which I think is an extraordinary legacy for students. Many students write for their professors, right, and they don't necessarily think of their work as public work. We don't let them do that at Kennesaw. We make them work really hard. Uh, and it's wonderful opportunities for them to train for their professions, and many of them do go into museum work. Uh, so we are really proud of this particular exhibit. Some of you were with us uh, just a couple months ago, about a month and a half ago, for our Beyond Rosie opening. So you're seeing a theme of women's history, and I, I'm just going to uh, betray that that was actually my training as a women's historian. So I feel really delighted and very personally gratified that we've done two very important women's history projects. Uh, so uh, with that, today we add Remembering Ravensbrook to that program with our four other traveling exhibits. Uh, that go around, in some cases, they certainly go around the state of Georgia, but they also travel around the country. Uh, and we make sure that everything that we do, from lending our exhibits to our public programs, is free and accessible to the public, and we take that really quite seriously. So you're going to hear from a lot of people that have made this possible today, uh, many of you sitting in this room. But I'm going to hand it over to Maria Britt, who's our Associate Vice President for Operations, to bring a welcome on behalf of our administration. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Catherine. On behalf of Kennesaw State University, it's my honor to welcome you, you here this afternoon for this great exhibit, our newest traveling exhibition. 
It highlights the university's commitment to public outreach, education, and it's consistent with Kennesaw State University's dedication to public service, continuing education, diversity, collaborative research, and public engagement. As Catherine said, over the next 10 years, this is gonna visit more than half a million people. That's just incredible. And as it travels around, it is our hope that we'll, we will leave them more informed and more inspired to learn about history so that we don't repeat history. These projects are the result of many months of hard work from staff, students, and faculty that have been involved, as well as many other museum professionals and volunteers. And many of you here today have been directly involved in bringing this exhibition here to fruition, either by conducting primary research in the class or by working late in the evening to make sure that this exhibit showed up on time for us today. So I wanna begin by thanking you this afternoon for your efforts. This is an important story that is not commonly known. The Nazis under Adolf Hitler targeted a number, number of people who were deemed unfit or unworthy or even dangerous to their regime. And the regime frequently subjected women, both Jewish and non-Jewish, to a brutal persecution that was sometimes unique to the gender of the victims. As the Third Reich's only women's camp, Ravensbrück is an important part of the history of the Holocaust and one that is definitely worth studying and remembering. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Jennifer Dickey, Assistant Professor of Public History, along with Dr. Sabine Smith in German Studies, who served as the project's coordinator. Thank you. 